Well, Interpol's Integrity in Sports initiative has as its principal goal to try to make society as a whole um, do more and come together in order to fight corruption in sports. Um, we started out focusing on football, but really this crosses uh, the gamut. What most people think about when they think about Interpol is police coming in to arrest someone or police doing all in their power to apprehend someone who's fled uh, justice. What people don't think about when they think about Interpol is what they think about with the policing in their community is police are there to help keep communities safe. And one way to help keep communities safe is to remind people about the importance of the rule of law, the importance about respecting uh, authority, the importance about not engaging in small or little criminal conduct. And with our sports integrity program, we hope to bring together all the components um, involved in making it possible to keep sports clean and have them engage in training, uh, capacity building, and also development of courses. Interpol can provide added value to um, fighting corruption in sports. Uh, we can help regulatory bodies because regulatory bodies, certainly the supporting um, institutions, there's only so much they can do. If they believe a match has been fixed or corruption has uh, occurred in a match, what can they do? They don't have subpoena powers, they don't have investigative powers, that they can't compel someone to give evidence, and they can't ultimately bring a criminal prosecution against uh, a person or, uh, or a team. What Interpol can do is we can help determine whether or not a match was in fact fixed, not just by looking at uh, illegal gambling patterns, because there might be many ways that matches can be fixed, by using all the resources that police have available at the national, regional, and global level. And so in that way, we can help the regulatory bodies do what they do civilly and add the element of criminal law enforcement uh, to it that can help keep the transnational organized crime groups at bay or at least uh, uh, at risk of being prosecuted. The agreement with FIFA has become a model not only for sports-related activity, but really for any kind of criminal activity that Interpol seeks to prevent um, or fight. What's significant about the FIFA agreement that we already are adopting in other agreements is that it's long-term. Historically, our agreements have been two to three years. We really couldn't hire and plan for activities like we can now. We'll be able to hire people on longer-term contracts. We'll be able to plan how to deal with a long-term problem over a long period of time, and most importantly, we'll be able to make sure that's sustainable, that whatever we put in place year one, year two, and year three will remain there afterwards.